22nd, 22nd of September 2021. This is Sergey Baklikov and you're watching Baklikov live. Hello everybody, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing dudes? I hope you're doing well and I'm doing well too. Uh, today, all the day long, I was working starting from the uh, very morning from uh, 8 a.m. and all the day long in my future studio. Yeah, yesterday I I, uh, I demonstrated the uh, progress in my future studio for house music Saturday night sets, live, live streams. Well, today, believe it or not, but I never thought it will take so long. But all the day long today, for like nine hours, I was just cleaning. I was just cleaning the floor because everything is done. The walls are painted. The ceiling is painted. The doors are painted. You know, and uh, so the floor. I was need to get ready the floor for uh, the carpet and damn that was really long I had to remove an old cover it was relatively not so hard than the plint but I mean just uh, the brushing process wow so many dust there for 70 years so many dust i was brushing and brushing it again and anyway every new circle there still was a lot of a lot of um, dust a lot of dirt only like after about seven brush circles um it was not that bad then i also twice washed the uh, the floor and uh, for every session I had to change the water in a bucket for like five times and uh, for a water I had to go to uh, the toilet which is located uh, one floor downstairs it's like uh, I'm on the third floor and there's the second floor and finally finally I was making the uh, ground or how to say prime I was priming grounding yes because uh i need i need to have that layer to protect from the creation of the new dust however however tomorrow i'm gonna ground it two more times because i have another ground uh there's 10 liters like today i spent five liters to ground the floor so there's like uh, 10 liters it's for two sessions and that's it so after that just uh, just the carpet and we can begin okay hi exploring with us we know Natalie Michael Michael Bensman Neil McDonald Terry Mitchell Attila the Hun Ralph Rosa Omer Actas Gordon, Lin Young, Kimberly Cruz, everybody, hi, Nikolai Garbut, hi everybody. By the way, uh, I forgot in a pantry, there's a pantry in my future studio, I forgot my uh, steady cam and I used an old one, look, an old one which is Moza Mini S, it's still alive and now I use it. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, Andrea Caruso. Emmanuel Branco, Remy Sachet, Green Man. Okay, and now after another big day in the future studio, um, let's take a walk. Let's just take a walk in St. Petersburg. Let's chill. Let's enjoy the time. I'm now here on Nevsky Prospect. This is Plochit Vastania, Uprising Square, Barn Filer, William Kennedy. Hi. Yeah, you see, this is Mosa Mini S. I now use actually DJI because in DJI there's such a construction that you never see a part of uh, the steady cam. Открылся 
Вау, Моза Мини С. Yes, I mean Moza Mini S is not really comfortable. It's not as comfortable as DJI because in DJI you, you can control up and down uh, just with the move of your wrist. Somehow DJI understands. You just move your wrist and uh, DJI understands that you need up or down. Hello, William Lanark. That's, that was pretty colorful guy. Hello, pet trim. Stalove number one. Stalove number one. One of the cheapest places to eat. It's the whole chain, like about 12. Stalove number one. Stalove. You can translate it as buffy or canteen. You see coffee, 25 rubles. Borge, 45 rubles, which is like 60 cent. Okay. Ligovsky Prospect. Intersection of Ligovsky and Nevsky. Hello, Tonya Kodas. Lynn Marwick. Hi. Looking cold now in St. Petersburg. Well, it depends on what you understand under cold. Okay. It depends. Well, for Russians, it's not cold. It's plus seven degrees Celsius. Look, uh, let's tell you that here in Russia everything what is uh, above zero degrees Celsius uh, it's 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 okay it's okay well especially plus seven I mean the guys here the guys from Bra Brazil used to write me before in the chat that even like plus 15 they consider it's cold because they see people in their jackets Okay. So it depends. Well, to me, it's not cold. Victor Tsoi. Tsoi lives. So, 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 Все не то и все не так, когда твоя девушка больна. Окей. Цой лифс, цой жив, цой жив, вы понимаете? Хай, Майкл, Майкл Милкевич. Майкл, как вы чувствуете? Как вы делаете? Окей, это Невский. Attila the Hunt, maybe this winter, I don't have a water lines to fix in minus 25 degrees with big winds. Emmanuel Branco, are the pipelines worms? Yeah, probably they worms. Hi. Dressman, how is the weather? As I just said, the weather plus 7 degrees Celsius, which is considered as not too cold just like more like a warm it's really warm it's not too bad at all but I already said that uh, people in different countries understand cold or hot or warm different I already said that in Russia in Russia everything with us above zero it's good especially plus seven I mean like look yeah it's pretty comfortable it's pretty comfortable. We are in the jackets, but in a not too not so weighted jackets. It's okay. 
It's fresh. And uh, still comfortable to walk without the head. Okay. The timer's already here. Oh. 8.20 or something. Damn, I forgot my second phone. I don't see the time. Okay, 9. 9.18. Yes, 9.18. In St. Petersburg. Looks great out there. Yes, dress. Always great in St. Petersburg. It's a nice Wednesday night here. Thomas Moons. By the way, the rotation of the stores on Nevsky is really big. I'm sure the rentals, I mean the rental, rental price is high. And it's easy to get off the market if your place turns to be not that popular. Don't have too much customers. Mediterranean food here. By the way, I need to visit it. I just noticed that I never visited it. Maybe because, maybe because, maybe because they used to have the promoters, like the guys who all the time trying you to get in there. Yeah, and maybe maybe that's why initially I was turned over. I was turned over. But I think I need to visit. Greek Tavern. I just was never there. Okay, and now coffee time, okay? Coffee time. Yes, today not Guinness time. Coffee time. Coffee time. Мне необходим латте большой. Большого не будет, будет средний. Давайте, давайте, окей. Okay. Вам по карте? Нет, мне надо чистый латте. Хорошо. Вам может покрепче или что вот так? Нет, наоборот, потому что я без сахара пью. Хорошо. 280 будет. Как там? Да, по карте. Тогда про тогда позже зарегистрируюсь. Я просто сейчас идет лайв. Телефон занят. Yes, look. You may be you may be already noticed that at winter time. I was making coffee times, more coffee times than in a um, summer time. Okay, yes. Uh, as colder it will get, as more coffee breaks I will have.
summertime beer breaks. Well, beer breaks, actually, I'm making any time. But look, it's only the middle of the week. It's no time for beer yet. No time for beer yet. Let me remind you that on Friday, here to St. Petersburg, let's see what comes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here comes Catherine, my cousin. You remember Catherine? Together with her newborn baby, with Evgeny, John, Johnny, uh, with Roman. They are coming. Let's see what they are coming. So oh, it's already after tomorrow, on Friday. And look, this already turns to be a uh, tradition coming to St. Petersburg for Catherine every early uh, autumn. At first she came in October, two years ago, uh, three years ago, yeah, two years ago, last year, a year ago. She came like also in the uh, October. Now she's coming in the end of September again. Already third time in a row. Also today, you remember uh, the sister of my of my wife, Aida, Aida, and her husband Timur, and their kids Samira. They are coming here for an autumn school break, which is uh, in the end of October, beginning of November. Yeah, like 3rd of November. They are coming here uh, for the first time for almost four years. They finally coming to visit us. Hello inside Russia. KFC was here. I actually call these parts of Nevsky uh, an American American corner because there goes at first uh, Grizzly Bar, which is like an American style bar, then KFC, and then Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut here. Alpha Industry. Thank you. Thank you for super chat. Hi, good to see you. You look healthy. Oh yes, that's because for the last week, for the last week, I worked physically too much, too much. I mean, I was making, comp I was making all the uh, remodeling in the studio. I was painting the walls, I was painting the ceiling, I was cleaning and uh, painting the window huge window like 2.5 meters window the doors the doors are now having absolutely funky colors lilac and orange and uh, the uh, windows are turkish well you saw yesterday hello kaif Vasquez, Welfare Leads. Hello, Lynn Marvik. I love the way you pronounce some words, Sergey. 
You're welcome. You're welcome big time. An Arbor Verite. Hi. The Randallorian. Are you near Mayakovska Metro? Yes, correct. That's exactly where I am. Mayakovska station is there. You see where's the uh, second traffic light? Second from here. That's Mayakovska. On the corner of Nevsky and Marata Street. That's where in his childhood years lived Dmitry Shostakovich. Also never been here. Do you know if Kolomna district is a good area? Yes, it's a good area, Stefan Gale. And you can actually find my live stream there in Kolomna. For example, look for my video called uh, Exploring Sadove Street. Sadove Street starts in Kolomna. Yeah, it's a pretty nice neighborhood in the historic city center of St. Petersburg. Why not? Kolomna is good. Anyway, I don't think that uh, St. Petersburg have bad neighborhoods or bad areas. In St. Petersburg, here are some areas where it's like nothing interesting, nothing too much interesting. It's bad. The thing is, it's Russia. In Russia here, we don't have ghettos. At least in traditional understanding of it. Michael Milkevich, and this stream looks great. Obita Uchi Uchiha, hello. Yes, HD. HD, of course, way better than 720p than just HD, that's for sure. Yes, now I use, now I use uh, Prism Live Studio because finally YouTube, I think it's YouTube, YouTube made uh, some changes and now, even when you use Prism or any other third party software for streaming, if you're losing the connection, YouTube, do not, do not finish the live stream. That was the most annoying part about using Streamlabs or Prism. Hello, Lily Pop. Hello, Chad Brown. Today I use Moza Mini S. Moza Mini S, my old steady cam because I forgot my new one, DJI Osmo 3 in the studio. Wow. And now I understand, now I understand how DJI much better, much better. DJI much better than Osmo. Disco Joe 3, hi. Hi Disco Joe. I think the biggest advantage of DJI 
is a rice control. Yes, I literally can just move my rice and it is on the stands, up or down. I need camera up or down. DJ uh, Moza Minias do not understand it. Hello, Hassan. Hi. Hello, Dania McNamara. Hello, Musa Taha. Rubenstein Street The trolley bus Wave shop. This guy promoting wave shop. Belazirsky, Belazirsky family palace. Yeah, that was a great time when I was taking you here for the concerts of State St. Petersburg Academic Symphony Orchestra. But now there was the change of administration full of drama, full of drama. And unfortunately now, I am not going there to stream because uh, I just wanna, I just wanna have solidarity with the old administration. The thing is, it is an old administration. They were inviting me to film, okay? They were inviting me to film and uh, now I think it's not going to be right from my side to keep filming there after the change of administration, which was full of drama, full of drama. Belazirsky, Belazirsky Palace, one of the richest families in Russian Empire. When uh, this year I was in all those Ural towns, like let's say in Ustkatav, I told you about the iron making plant that was owned and controlled by the uh, Belazirsky, Belazirsky family. Looks like it's getting a bit chilly already in St. Pete's. Oh yes, first, the uh, summer is over. So is uh, most of vacations. People, people, even if uh, many people, even if they actually can have the vacation um, in September, October, anyway, those who are with kids who goes at school, they have to, they have to get back anyway from the uh, vacation because they need to, um, well, yes, they need to be with kids while well, kids are uh, studying at schools, okay? Well, the weather, of course, the weather is not as great as in the summertime. And uh, after all, today, it's just a weekday and it's already almost 10 o'clock.
Yeah, the boat rides are still available, but look, not as many boats as in the summertime. Yes, they reduce, I think they reduce the number of rides starting from September. Hello, Sergey. How is the man cave coming along? Well, you can just watch my yesterday's video. It's going good. It's going good. We're going to be done in like two, three days. Uh, the biggest thing I have to do is the carpet, which is going to be made after tomorrow, because tomorrow I will still take care about preparation of the floor for the carpet and then the carpet carpet insulation and uh, then all, only a lot of little tweaks little things but switches however have to be also done store the main writers bookstore bookshop Apteka drag sword 36.6 which is in Russia considered as a normal body temperature 36.6 Матрешка. Бэрэс матрешка. Another race track, you mother. Harry Potterian saying that in Finland, thirty-seven point zero is considered the normal temperature, but we also have different normal values depending on age and the type of 
measurement technique. Huh, that's interesting. I mean like 37.0, even this, even 37.0 here in Russia already will be considered like, hmm, not too good. Yeliseev Brothers store, 118 years with us. Still nothing better. Oh, there's the composer Eduard. It's been a while I saw him. Yeah, let's let's listen to this guy. In the moments when mostly here we can see the bands or guitarists, that guy playing uh, the piano. He's playing as his own compositions as covers. Of uh, well-known tracks. Hello, Gary. Gary Lee Hutchings. 
Hey got it. Horror. Hi horror. Hi dream. Dream seagull. Mano 103. Hi. Thank you. 
Yeah, boy. Молодец. What it means? Well done. Well done. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, dudes. I told you many times, St. Petersburg is the city which can offer everything. двор Гостиный двор и uh, clock tower of city Duma. Let me remind you that recently, just a little bit more than a week ago, it was opened for public visits. And I was there, one of the very first. I was taking you there, one of the very first ever.
check it out. If you missed that video, check it out. Spokoi nevas na soy, soy živ, soy liv. Spokojno noč. Quiet night. The song of Victor Tsoi and Kino Band. Okay, got to the very last track, to the end of the very last track. It's uh, already 10 o'clock. А тем, кто ложится спать, спокойно во сна. o'clock that's it I was staying right there. Check out that live stream of mine if you missed that. It was at the 11th of September. I remember just uh, uh, one day before my uh, daughter's birthday. And right after that, I remember how I've got to the airport and flew to Ufa where Victoria celebrated her 14th birthday. Where is Jay Lewis? Jay Lewis on vacation until September 30th.
Mano 103 10 euro super chats for a coffee Guinness whatever for the hard-working man thank you thank you well today it's coffee time not Guinness time too early for Guinness time I mean it's only Wednesday uh, after tomorrow my sister Catherine I mean my cousin Catherine coming if if you forgot I I tell you again that she is coming already after tomorrow Catherine and it turns into the great tradition for Catherine coming here in autumn a year ago and two years ago she was coming here about same time well finally looking forward for when she will come in the summertime the best time however always good time in st petersburg no matter summer or winter autumn or spring day or night evening or morning because this is st petersburg right look at this just look at this Oh, you see that? This is a church of the Savior of Spilled Blood. Grivaidov Canal. Yeah. Kazansky. One of the main sightseeings in St. Petersburg. Okay. It's not for no reason, right? Stefan Rauwe, hello Sergey. Are tourists allowed to come to St. Petersburg now without quarantine? I think so, but I don't know for sure. I don't know. There, there are different conditions for different countries and uh, they are all the time changing. So I just don't track it.
it seems like Visconti still playing there. St. Peter and St. Paul Cathedral. This is a fun shop of a hockey club, Scott. By the way, tomorrow they're playing with Slovak Live Ofa. Macho man. Hello, Maria Zev. Exactly that stroganoff, which is related to beef stroganoff. The Stroganovsky Palace, which is now a one of the branches of the State Russian Museum. Moika River The boats are parked Not as much people as was in the summer Mm. 
булочная number 60 булочная from the uh, from the word love Miss Alanios, Russia's best military general, is coming soon. General Winter. Well, in St. Petersburg, it may be not too bad because here we have the influence of the warm Gulf Stream. Two years ago, uh, here was the winter without snow in St. Petersburg and the average temperature was like plus one degree Celsius <laughs> El Macho Man Sergey, it is taking too long to get more subscribers to the channel what do you think? No, I don't think it's taken long because uh, you see, it's not for no reason that uh, I mean, look, I'm not making any clickbaits, I'm not making hypes, okay? I'm just doing my stuff, okay? I don't know the subscribers based on hype clickbait teasers or something else controversial stuff negative stuff so i'm making just a normal stuff and uh i never promote i never promote my videos because i want only those to subscribe my live streams my channel who really want that Fake rating, thank you for super chats. I'm jealous of your beautiful and truly safe city where people can walk in the evening. We have none in the US. Well, I don't know if it's really truth that in a whole America, I mean, in the whole United States, you can't find the safe place to walk at night. So yeah, I'm not making clickbaits and hype, you hear me? I'm telling you once again, I'm not making any hype. I'm making just the normal stuff. I'm just being me. When you're making the uh, clickbaits or hype videos, 
then you're returning to be the slave of this. I was even making the experiments. I was making the experiments. I once made clickbaited title and like three times more people came. But then they all gone. All those people who came with hype, they gone. When I stopped making hype. So it makes no sense. You no need to look at the quality uh, at the amount of subscribers. You need to look at the quality of subscribers, okay? That's it. That's what makes sense. That's what makes sense, okay? <clears throat> you can you can make a lot of subscribers doing shit. For example, right now, let's say I can I don't know. I can get a swimming pants and just to walk through Nevsky Prospect in a swimming pants. And to name the video Walking in Swimming Pants uh, through Nevsky in St. Petersburg. Hope I will not get arrested or something like that. You know how many people will come? A lot of people will come. But so what? So what? Then I will stop doing things like this and that's it. Шоколадница, chocolate, chocolate. It's like шоколадница. You know how to translate it? It's like if chocolate was a female. Or like the place to 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 for chocolate, like something to put chocolate on. Meltomanix, clickbait works. Yes, look. Clickbait, clickbait works, but it works short term, okay? I'm telling once again, the quality of subscribers, that's what makes sense, okay? I mean, look, if you're ready to hype all the time, yes, Yes, this is your way. Clickbait, controversial videos, you know, and stuff like that. Hype, that's it. That's your way because you're not gonna hype once. Doing different strange things and stuff like that. But in my case, it's not my way. I'm just making a normal stuff. Kimberly Cruz, five bucks super chat for swimming pants. Thank you. Thank you. Look, I'm making the videos which uh, many people find boring. Yes, because here they don't have something controversial, something fast. But those who are watching, you guys watching all the time. So that's what I'm talking about. I just do my thing. Well, a square. I just do my thing and showing you the widest variety of the normal stuff. The widest variety. It's the walks, boat rides, road trips, 
many different cities and towns of Russia. Concerts, classical concerts, street musicians, jazz clubs and bars. Also soon house music, house music by me, painstakingly selected house tracks, the best house tracks painstakingly selected from millions. Okay. <clears throat> Family time, dinners, breakfast, food in general, interesting places to visit and see like let's say colonnaded walk away of uh, St. Isaac's Cathedral like uh, the uh, International Book Salon that was here in May uh, Classics at Palace Square um, Victory Parade here at Palace Square that's all where I was taking you SFG. Мы живучи как кошки. Мы живучи как кошки. Thank you so much. Thank you. Native Moon. Thank you. Winter Palace. Francesco Bartolomeo Rastrelli. Nancy Patency, normal is always good. I hear the saxman, but traditionally, I'm not gonna get to him because uh, he absolutely can't stand the camera. He can't stand the camera and he was the most aggressive guy I ever met. Uh, in terms of like saying me not to film him. For eight years of me vlogging, I had enough people telling me, please, don't film or no camera please or something or just no camera but nobody nobody was shout on me nobody nobody shout on me except the saxman marco groach no fake no bullshit thank you marco tony hodas hi sergey your videos are never boring i don't want to I don't want to I don't want to see that crap. I love everything you have showed us. You're doing it right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So that's what I'm talking about. You know, I I just I just understand who who is my viewer. Who are my viewers? And that's it. That's it. I mean, uh, this is actually in some kind of, it's a hard and easy way to do the videos. It's hard because I mean like, uh, yeah, you're, whoa, damn. I'm not sure what's with steady cam. Okay, so it's hard because uh, you're not hyping. If you're not hyping, if you're not making controversial stuff, uh, clickbaits, all that, and all this stuff, it's really hard now uh, to get into the algorithms of YouTube. But it's easy because I just do what I myself enjoy. Okay, in the moment, yeah, like everybody. You know, like everybody will tell you, 
if you will start learning about how to grow on YouTube, everybody starts will start teaching you like, um, you know, just uh, do what people want most of all. Okay, like uh, search for what people request, look for another popular videos. But that's how you will be not you. Okay, and uh, I don't I don't care which videos are now popular what's now trendy or not, I'm just doing my stuff. We need more turtleneck content. Content, Borscht Force 1. Well, I'm pretty often in turtleneck. Today I'm in shorts, but often I'm in turtleneck and in cardigan. It's a parole. Okay, look. This is how we went through Nevsky Prospect, Palace Square, and got to the embankments, Palace embankments. Uh, there's Vasilevsky Islands, and let me remind you, that's where's located my uh, studio. I refurbish now. Almost everything done. Today was hard day. For 10 hours, about 10 hours, I was cleaning up the floor. Damn, that 70 years Soviet floor gave me a lot of work. If you've missed my uh, yesterday's live stream in the morning, I was making in the morning, check it out. I was taking you to my studio. It's Vavilov Loft. And there you can see all the progress of what happens. The studio for Futures Saturday night house music live streams. Okay, look, this is the speed of Vasilevsky Island there. And almost behind, there's the uh, State Optical Institute named after Sergei Vavilov. A, uh, one of the buildings of the institutes now, now turns into loft, so-called loft. Uh, exactly there on the loft they understand the place like for creative people creative business artists musicians DJs uh, designers mostly clothes designers manufacturers uh, it seems like my city cam discharged yes this is my old steady cam, my DJI, my regular steady cam. Today I forgot in the studio. Oh. Okay, dudes, uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Now I have to stop because, anyway, it's time to get back home. And uh, even city cam discharged. Well, actually, uh, city cam discharged almost in time. I mean, maybe now it will work for a couple more more minutes, but now all the time will turning off. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this walk. Today was nothing special because um, all the day long, starting from eight o'clock in the morning, I was cleaning up the floor. Yes, the building constructed. In um, the end of 1940s, beginning of 1950s, such a uh, Stalinist, well, most of you, I guess, already saw that. Uh, so, uh, in the end of 1940s, beginning of 1950s, 
such a, you know, what is called Stalinist neoclassical administrative massive building. So, uh, uh, and today I was cleaning up the floor after 70 years of uh, uh, being the floor of the institute. At first I was brushing it. Imagine, I, I'm not sure even how it happens. Like, look, I've got a, I've got a brush and I was brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing all the dust from the floor at first. And it seemed like, okay, but then I starting again and again, there's a lot of dust. And then again and again, it was like seven circles before it was like, okay, almost no dust. Then I was washing, I was washing. I was taking a bucket with the water and I was washing, I was washing the floor. Okay, and uh, I also made two sessions and uh, I was changing the water five times on each section. So ten times I was going to the toilet to flush the, the dirty water and to get the new one and to get back. And only after that I primed or how to say grounded, grounded the floor. But tomorrow I will do this twice. That's how I prepared the floor. Also, I removed it first, I removed the old floor, which was the easiest thing, but cleaning, it was not easy. So that's how I prepared the floor for a new carpet, a new carpet there, okay? And uh, I hope, I hope you will enjoy what finally I will have there. And you will enjoy the Saturday night uh, house music live streams, if not, not a big deal because I mean everything will go as it go as it as it used to go but the only difference that on Saturday night also will have house music streams okay thank you for watching okay steady camp now is not even oh it's turned off for I guess it's turned on, it's turned on for uh, maybe one, two minutes. It will be enough to make the final panorama. The panorama, I'm, I'm saying bye for now. Uh, standing at one of the most beautiful places in St. Petersburg, believe me. This is the intersection of uh, Palace Drive. Admiralty Escape Prospect, uh, Admiralty Embankments and Palace Embankments. Okay, dudes. See you, see you. Hope you enjoyed the walk after a long day cleaning up the floors. Neil McDonald, Francesca Larelli, Barb Feiler, Nikolai Garbutz, Michael Milkevich, Danny McNamara, Dream Stiegel, William Kennedy, Lily Pop, Barb Feiler, Manfred Bismarck, an American in Russia, Bill in Florida and Sue in Florida, Big Rory Holler, Pat Trim, Native Moon, Maria Z, Stevie Ray, Alpha Industry, Madura S, Charles Reed, Akshay Singh, Green Man, Crystal, Native Moon, Zen Chick, Palace Bridge, the speed of Vasilevsky Island. Peter and Paul Fortress, Lin Young, Driven Diver. Okay, dear ladies and gentlemen, dudes and duties, boys and girls, from St. Petersburg, from Russia, from Baklikov Live, with love. <laughs>